Okay, and next up this week, I want to tell you about a movie that I am... Movie? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be talking about all things music, movies and TV shows. And first up this week I've got an exceptional music artist you should go and check out. Her name is Liv Dawson. She is from London in the UK. This is her debut single called Tapestry. She is uh, literally just burst on the scene and this is a phenomenal debut. Uh, for me it is what a, f a modern pop song should sound like. It's got this really nice almost retro hip hop beat and then it's layered with these amazing lyrics in this uh, amazing vocal and if you want to go and check her out she is on spotify as i said I, that's where i discovered her she's in the new music playlist this week also you can check her out on facebook and twitter i leave all the links for you to go and check her out down in the description below and believe me when i say this i think this girl is going to be a star this year I, uh, this was her first offer in tapestry it was her first debut single and i think She's just going to get better and better and I can't wait to see what else she has got to offer. So go and check out Liv Dawson. And next up today is a movie that I am pretty excited about. I want you guys to go and check out. I'm probably going to check it out myself this weekend. It's called Money Monster. Boasts a pretty strong cast in my opinion. George Clooney, Julia Roberts and Jack O'Connell aka Cook from Skins. And on a little side note, it's great to see him getting these big Hollywood roles. I, I think he's a brilliant actor and I'm glad he's doing well. So on to the movie itself. Uh, it's based around the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, it follows George Clooney's character, who is this sort of, not like a, a wheeler dealer type, you know, but he hosts this kind of sort of topical stock exchange show where he says about the stocks and shares that are going up and down. And then it is, it's hijacked by Jack O'Connell's character. He believes that there is some sort of conspiracy behind Wall Street and he wants to expose this. Obviously, George Clooney doesn't know what he's going on about, but then it sort of delves deeper into what? the inner workings and the behind the scenes of what actually happens in Wall Street. Uh, and this is just from the trailer, This is I've not seen the film yet myself, but it looks like a really good uh, conspiracy type thriller and you never know, I, I have a feeling it's going to have a really good twist ending. So I'm going to go and check out this film myself this weekend. You should go and check it out yourself. If you have already seen the, the film when this, this video gets released, then let me know what you thought about it. Obviously try and leave it spoiler free because if I haven't seen the film yet, I don't want it ruined for me. But yeah, really excited about this film. I hope you guys are too, so go and check it out. Okay, and finally today, I want to tell you about one of my favorite TV shows ever. It is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's just released its 11th season now on Netflix. It is, it is there on Netflix to use, for you to go and enjoy. So if you've not seen it, seen it, if you've not seen it before, then you have 11 series to go and binge watch. And if you are a fan of it, you've probably already seen it, but Season 11 is there for you to go and watch. It is, as I said, it's probably one of my favorite TV shows ever because they are just five of the most debaucherous and I won't want to say evil, but just bad characters. That's what I love about this show is that they are bad people. They are all, they don't have an ounce of good in them. And even the characters that come into the show having good in them, hang around with these guys and get turned bad uh, like that sounds really cheesy but yeah they, they're just bad characters and they're great to watch i say i always like watching it and i feel like there's this little bit inside of me here where you know where your bad bit lives and then that can come out for 20 minutes so you can watch one of these shows they are really really funny stars danny devito like he is the star of the show he steals the show every time he's in a scene and there is an episode in season 11 where he's dressed as andy warhol and that's how i want you to that's how i want to sell it's always something to you is danny devito this picture right here of danny devito dressed as andy warhol in season 11 it is fantastic i highly suggest you go and check it out if you have seen season 11 then let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it. I know a few people that I've spoke to thought there was a few weak episodes in there, but I've got to say, I, I, I love the whole series. So that is it for this week's show. Go and check out Liv Dawson. Go and check out Money Monster. Go and check out It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You will not be disappointed. My name is Jamie Hughes. This has been the Jamie Hughes Show as always, just dropping a little bit of ego in there again. Thank you very much for watching. It is great that I'm getting so much support on this channel. Thank you very, very much indeed. I will see you in the next episode. Ta-ra. Mm -hmm.